Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're going to do the what's next on um, Jonabek Alam Kanuli, the reigning and undefeated WBO middleweight champion of the world as he returned to action on May 13th on, on an ESPN card and dominated and stopped Stephen Butler with a second round TKO as he stayed the middleweight champion. Now before we get into that guys, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support I can get as I try to build my channel up. If um, you don't like what I'm doing though, give me a thumbs down, leave me a comment, let me know why. So back to Jonabek, Kazakh style. Um, really no concrete, you know, thing going on on what he's going to do next. We don't know if the WBO is going to mandate him to fight somebody, um, you know, or not. Uh, as he's made two optional defenses in a row, they had originally ordered him to fight Liam Smith, but Liam Smith was tied up with the Chris Eubank Jr. rematch, which is happening on July 1st. So we'll see what goes down with that one, but let's run through the top 10 and see what possibly could be going on for Jonabek, you know, any possibilities or not. We start with Triple G Gennady Golovkin. Uh, an all Kazakh fight. I'm not seeing this one. As, as much as I'd like to see it, I don't think it's going to happen. I think Triple G is going to take a decent amount of time off now as he contemplates his uh, final run in, uh, you know, in boxing if he's going to have one at all. I think uh, he potentially is considering retirement as well. Jamal Charlo, the WBC champ, not going to happen. Charlo is just not interested in fighting anybody, let, it, let alone fighting anybody good. Then you got Carlos Adames. He's the WBC interim champion. I think Adames, because he's a PBC guy, is going to wait around to try to get a PBC guy in the ring and also wait around to fight for the WBC title. Then um, there's Jaime Minguia. Minguia is in position to fight Sergey Derevchenko next. Uh, I don't think Minguia wants anything to do with Jonabek for the WBO title as he's already passed on that fight before. So I don't think he's going to want to get in there against Jonabek next. Chris Eubank Jr., he's fighting Liam Smith. I think the winner is in great position to fight for the title. But would Chris Eubank want to fight Jonabek following a victory over Liam Smith, especially when he has that um, showdown with Conor Ben also waiting for him that was supposed to happen last year? So I, I don't see Eubank wanting to fight, but I think Liam Smith might want to fight um, Jonabek for the WBO title. He might want that fight, so we'd have to wait and see. Then there's the WBA champion, Arizondi Lara, which I think that's a, a, a possibility. I, I mean, I don't think that's a possibility because Lara is supposed to be fighting Danny Garcia next. I believe they're saying in July or August. And his mandatory, uh, Michael Zarafa, would wait around for the winner of that fight. So I'm not seeing Lara and Jonabek attempting to unify belts. There's, uh, well, Rio de Murata is now retired. Then you got Sergey Derevchenko, who's fighting um, Jaime Minguia next. If he were to pull off the victory uh, over Minguia, I think maybe Derevchenko might go, you know, consider a showdown with John Beck because it's another title fight. So I think that that's possible to happen, but I don't think Derevchenko is going to beat Minguia, to be honest. So I don't see that. Then Felix Cash, undefeated, fighter on the rise. Maybe, potentially, this fight could happen. I think Jonabek wants to shoot for somebody bigger, but I think it's possible. And then Esquiva Falchao, the undefeated Brazilian uh, middleweight contender. I think this is very possible because Falchao is going to fight uh, Vicente Gaultieri next for the vacant IBF title. And if Falchao is victorious, him and Jonabek are both top ranked guys and I think that fight becomes very very likely then as to unify belts and I think Jonovic that's what he wants so I think there's a good solid chance that we see Jonovic and Escuiva Falchao fight in the second half of this year to unify belts I also think 
Liam Smith is a strong possibility for Jonabek. But Jonabek is going to have trouble trying to find top 10 guys trying to fight him. And that's why I think the Fal Chow fight is more likely to happen than not. Because it, it would be to unify belts and that would really give Jonabek a lot of pull at 160, the wide open division that it is. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my what's next on the undefeated and reigning WBO middleweight champion of the world, Jonabek Alan Kanuli, Kazakh style following his second round TKO victory over Stephen Butler from Canada. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.